body language, you know, eye contact of, of certain people. A lot of times what, I, what I'll do is I'll, I'll really try to lock on to two or three people that I feel like are really into the message that I can see, you know, early on in the message, their, their body language, their head nodding, uh, maybe something in particular grab their attention and they sat up in their seat and they just lock on to you. And I'll, and because then I'm, I really feel like I'm speaking to two or three people. And I, you know, when you're speaking to two or three people, you feel like your message can take root. Um, whereas when you're speaking to maybe there's a thousand people at that thing, you know, that there's some people that aren't there, you know, have tuned out or the message doesn't fit them or, or whatever it is. You can't, you can't reach every one of them. But I really try to uh, lock on to, to a certain body language. And I'm big on that. Because mm -hmm. I think the, I think the readiness of the audience is key. Now, there's certain times when you walk in and I mean, there's been times that I've walked up and, you know, people are half asleep. It's, it's right after lunchtime. It's hot out. They've been in meetings for four hours already and you got to do something to bring energy to it. And that's when, you know, I, I oftentimes I'll tell an upbeat type of story to get their attention or, or I'll talk about something they know. Um, and but I'll talk about it from my perspective and, and my in depth. You know, people love football, and, and, and so I have that that hook, so to speak. And so, um, but you know, for me as a speaker, I think I always want to have a great environment. If I could choose, what you know, who who I'm going to speak with or, or what kind of environment it'd be around, it'd be I would take that band that was with me in Texas, and wherever I went, they would they would come up and, and play for 20 minutes before I went up there because it was just so right. And, um, and, and so for me, you know, th again, what I try, the most effective thing is for me to grab their attention right away, to help them, help them feel as though um, what I have to say is worth their time. And then to let them know what I'm trying to get across to them right away. And then now take them into a period of time where they can uh, they can kind of lose themselves, and an hour can seem like ten minutes to them, and, uh, and that's that's what I try to do. Mm -hmm.